Thank you. All right, guys. So see the shoes. No, they're not too tall, but I kind of suck at walking in <laughs> in anything like this because of my balance issues. And this is my outfit, Alexa. Take a look at my dress. No, it did not come with this right here. This is one of these bikers type top. So it's very stretchy, like a jersey type thing that I just picked up at Walmart the other day because I want to be able to wear these dresses that are sleeveless because I don't like my arms. So I want to cover my arms and wear these dresses. No, this is Beyonce's mom's line. I don't even know if she has the line anymore. I bought it years ago and I bought two of them, a red one and a black one. This is a black one. This is a size 12. No, I don't normally uh, fit in a size 12, but this one fits for some reason. Now, the red one, I took it to Belize on vacation in 2013, and I lost my whole suitcase, and the dress went missing in the suitcase, and my sister scoured the whole internet to find me that red dress for my birthday that year, 2013, and she got the size 14, so I'm gonna put that one on next. But take a look at the shoes. I'm not a big fan of shoes because I really can't walk in these type of shoes. I have to hold on to Joe to walk. I'm like, you know, these shoes, and they're not too tall. Look, see? They're not too tall, but still I have issues when it comes to shoes. I'm kind of klutzy. I'm kind of like a klutzy girl. So this is the black dress. See? <laughs> I just feel okay with putting it on because I lost some weight, all right? Now, right here, I don't need nobody in this picture with me. <laughs> this is all my No, right here, this part right here, I hate this curvy part of my body, but a lot of the women that I'm friends with, they're like, girl, are you crazy? I wish I had some hips. I guess this is hips. I wish I had some hips like you. I'm straight, I'm this, I'm that. I'm like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't like things that, I don't know. Joe, do you think I would wear this in public, like go to a function all day? You think I would wear it now? Well, when I had 195 10 weeks ago, I wouldn't have worn it. It wouldn't have fit. First of all, it wouldn't have fit. And I, I have 178.2 right now, so I wouldn't have worn this one. So let's see if we can do a side view. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and then a back view. Oh, oh, oh. Mercury, Mercury is rising. Oh my God, Joe, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to name this channel for adults only. <laughs> so guys, let me tell you a little bit about this channel. So I made it years ago when we had our bottle printing business. We used to sell screen plastic bottles for a living, right? Me and Joe. And I named it and I put some videos here, like five videos. Let's see what he's doing with the camera. You're, you're aiming it upwards. Can you put it upwards a little bit? So I named it McQueen Bottle Printing. Joe, come check to see if I'm good. And make sure I have some headroom. I don't feel like I'm being crushed. What do you see? I can't oh, see. Oh, you got you got a lot of room. <coughs> I can't see nothing from here. You see right to here. <coughs> okay, good. You can get way over here. What's itching my throat? I think it's you. Anyways, I named it Matt Green Bubble Printing, and I put like five videos here of what we were doing at the shop. I think we wanted to teach people how to do the bubble printing, but that never took off. And then recently, I remembered the channel, so I went and I followed the steps to make the channel a brand channel. So I lost my URL, so it's not um, youtube.com slash printing anymore. I lost that, but it's okay because I was able to transfer everything over to this page that's now called Miss Bear Pantry because that's what my viewers at the cooking page call me. I have a cooking page here on YouTube in case you don't know. It's called The Bear Pantry Show. And I have another channel where I do reviews and stuff that's called Bear Pantry Talk. And I'm thinking I might transfer my other channel, Babs Bear Talk, over here. I don't know though. Maybe I'll just leave this as it is. So this is one outfit right here. You're gonna see me do some outfit things like this and you're gonna see Jada do some and maybe Joe. So I'm gonna pause the camera now and I'm gonna go put on the red one, okay? I'll be right back. This is the red one. This is a size 14 and I feel much more comfortable in this one, okay guys? So I, I really feel like I should just stick with the 14. I like the way this dress is cut. 
I think it flatters by you know having the darts here and everything. I like that it's this good strong zipper that pulls up. It's not these cheap stuff that Jada's buying from Sheen or Shine or whatever. <laughs> so um, yeah, I would wear this definitely in public. I'm not a great fan of anything red for me, for my skin tone, but I feel like every woman has to have a red dress and a black dress in her closet. So for the lipstick, all I did was put some red <laughs> over the purple that I was wearing because I love to wear purple lipstick and we'll talk about the lipstick too. So let's take a look at the side view. Do you guys think somebody's coming? The back view, the other side. And here comes somebody right now in the door. Oh, and this front. It's okay, Billy. This is my new channel. <clears throat> yeah, so, oh, and I put on some red earrings. These are some, you know, fantasy earrings. And I can't wear these too long because it'll start making my ears start hurting get some type of infection <laughs> but they look pretty for this one right here right i have the necklace for it too but this dress doesn't call for a necklace so what do you guys think and i'm wearing it with the same shoes okay like i said i don't have a whole lot of shoes so i think i'll put on like one more outfit for this video because i want these videos to be like five minutes long so one more outfit for this video and then we'll see what that looks like okay okay now i see why these women wear wigs when they're doing these fashion things i'm talking to my people these over there just eating saying what happened what happened i see why these people wear wigs because my hair was just like a mess just now i still i still don't think i fixed it right anyways this is the kind of stuff that i prefer to wear okay i like this loose fitting and i like this type of sleeve with this you know pattern looks kind of native looks kind of spanishy or you know from central america e that's you know because that's where i'm from so i like this kind of stuff right here this skirt me and joe made this skirt first time we made a skirt like this if you want to take a look it has this kind of a what do you call it? like a band it has a band and it has a zipper in the back and it has a vented pleat and we didn't know how to make a vented pleat till after the fact and we put it in and i think it looks good and i, I like to wear this out like for business or stuff like that and I don't know if you guys can see the shoes. I'm gonna need Joe's help to see if you guys can see the shoes. But take a look at the earring. I think it was from Avon years ago. I love these type of native looking stuff. I think it goes well with my coloring. And also the lipstick, I wanted to talk about the lipstick. It's Maybelline New Nouveau Matte and the number is 681 for the purple. And then for the pinkish one, it's 680. And that's all I love to wear. When it gets down to the last, I dig it up, put it in a container, rub it on my lip, and every time I go, they never have it. So I'm gonna have to check Amazon or something. But this is one of the other outfits that I love to wear. What I'm gonna do is go change this top and put on one of my little off the shoulder things to show you why I love wearing the off the shoulder. And then that's it for this video, okay? I'll be right back. This is one of my off the shoulder tops that I like to sew. Well, I don't sew it. Joe does the sewing, I do the cutting, I do the designing. So I designed this one, the red, white, and blue. This was for Belize Independence Day last September. And I like that I can make the sleeves as long as I need to make them. I can put different colors together. And I like that it's loose where it covers a whole, a multitude of sins as they say. And what else? Oh, it accentuates what I feel like is the best part of me. Now you can look at this and go, well, Barbara, you have a lot of assets. Why don't you like this? Why don't you like that? And I still won't feel anything because it goes by what you feel inside, right? So I feel like this is my asset, my shoulders, my neck doesn't look gobble gobble yet at age 54. I hope it doesn't get that way as I continue to lose weight. And I just feel like that's like the sexiest part of me for me. For me and I like showing and I, I can show that much and not feel uncomfortable you know what I mean so another thing with this this uh, me sewing this um, sh well not me I keep saying me it's me and Joe well you know what I mean but the, another thing about us sewing the clothes is that we can make the next the back side be a different pattern that way I can turn the shirt around and totally wear the back for the front Pretty simple right and i wear it with this skirt i like these kind of skirts what, what do you call these skirts pencil skirts this is the kind of style that i like so in my next video what i'm going to do is put on styles that i would not buy for myself but styles that my viewers have sent for me that i've been wearing i've been wearing because they sent it to me and i put it on like hey this doesn't look so bad but i wouldn't buy this myself but hey if you think i can wear this girl thank you for seeing that seeing through your lens right so thanks for watching guys thumbs up the video if you like what i've produced and go ahead leave me a comment below tell me what else you want to see me do here I want these to be quick and fun and i want this channel to be about randomness okay thanks for watching miss bear pantry 
peace out. By the way, guys, I wear these with a bra. I just take the strap and pull it all the way down to here, okay? I don't go braless. Barbara here, guys. Thank you so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you've liked what I produced here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you can know when I upload another video. Of course, I look forward to your likes and your comments. And just in case you did not come over from my cooking page, The Bear Pantry Show, I want you guys to know that I have two cookbooks for sale, one, two. And if you want to find out how to purchase, just check the description below. See you next video. I just laugh. I ain't laughing at that. You see something funny over here? You see something funny over here? I see something sweet over here. <laughs> Come over here, sweetness. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This channel is not for you to be no. facetious and out no, of order and all type of thing, okay? I want to talk in my mind. You can do that by your own page. <laughs> when you say sweetness, you have to say something, right? Wow, that feels so good after what? Almost 35 years of marriage and 37 years of being together? Mm? Mm. Ready. Child, you still got it going on, girl. Maybe like that. Don't turn the lights down. down. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs>